said, John Pillow, I want to try to find out wow. the conditions that made Alfred Pillow. There's a real guy. He wrote a book called um, Show of Violence. Show of Violence by Wortham years ago. It was not a bestseller. So was it not? The conditions that make serial killers. And here's what he found out. I know you know nothing about it. I don't think you do. Albert Fish, when he was about eight years old, was sitting in bed with a heart on him. He was touching it. It had no meaning to him, wasn't related to He was just touching his penis. His mother was an old-time Baptist. She came and said, you're going to burn in hell touching that part of your body. You will burn eternally. She scared the shit out of the kid. And the mother said, two in the morning he was screaming. And when she came in, he stuck needles in his genitals. He didn't want to go to hell. Can you understand that or not? So he used to take minority kids into the woods and cut their genitals off. Or try to. Minority kids were the only kids he could get hold of. And he was called a monster. He was a, not a monster any more than the southerners will lynch a black man for staring at your wife. They didn't have to do anything more. They too, if you want to call them monsters, are monsters. So is every soldier that machine guns Japanese. Because they have been, there's a book called The Secrets of Pearl Harbor. Very hard to get hold of. The Heritage Foundation pulled them out of the library. It's forward written by Admiral Halsey. How we got the Japanese to attack Pearl Harbor. You never heard of that, did you? Okay. Actually, I've read a lot about how uh, we now, supposedly antagonized. should know about. Yeah. The American Japanese were citizens. And we got them all in the concentration camps. Now they say to me, yeah, but these goddamn North Koreans, I'm using their language, building rockets and war machines and big armies, so is China. Well, we got to prepare. They might attack us. I want to show you something again. I don't want you to take my word for anything. I'm sure you never saw this, because it appeared in England. U.S. plans first strike nuclear against seven countries, and it names them. North Korea, China, all that. What do you expect with a headline like this? I didn't write it. Did you ever see it? No. It appeared in England. They charged me seven bucks for this headline, but I bought it because I don't want people to take my word for it. I've heard their preemptive war policy. I didn't know it went as far yeah. as oh. nuclear. That's, that, is that good enough reason for them to build stuff? Suppose China said, we intend to attack America, England, and France. Nuclear. Strike. Well, in the old days it was called a sneak attack. Today it's called preemptive strike. Yeah. Sneak attack. So, <laughs> Justified I'm, somehow. All right. So, uh, I, again, I'm trying to tell Sorry. you something. I'm trying to tell you your country is full of shit. Oh, you knew that. I hate to do that. <laughs> You know, that's Don't worry, you're not fragile. You're not shattering Come my back fragile to your world. Question. Somebody stay with your question. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to. I'm not out. trying to avoid questions. I'm trying to fill in what I think you don't know anything about. Oh, actually, okay. Um, you were talking a little while ago about. Uh, I can turn those people around to the serial killers. Yeah. They got it from the environment. It may take longer, but they ought not to be killed. No one ought to be killed or bad. Oh, they're all perfectly well adjusted where they're coming from. So you think more or less they, I mean, we go, they we redesign study, the environment. study them? We're going to redesign the environment so it doesn't produce serial killers. Now, if a person has a damaged brain due to impact or disease, there is such a thing as that, where a person kills people. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not responsible. They belong in a hospital city. But we will filter all that out very early in civilization. So you don't have to. So he, he asked a question. Yes. He said, is there such thing as too much conditioning? And you said, no, there is not. Uh, but then isn't it you're doing exactly yes. what they did? But in I didn't first, say there's not too much conditioning. I said, we are conditioned to our values to the ones we have now, uh, directly and indirectly. But what's stopping the next person from coming along after you've, you know, brought, 
brought them down a little bit and made them how it should be somebody else coming around okay. and trying to undo what you just did. Okay. Well, if they get both sides, they can probably figure that out. Uh, if I die, say, and we never make the motion picture, it'll revert back to where it used to go. War, depression, boom, bust. If we don't get this motion picture out there, it'll revert back. I cannot affect your behavior too much because you go back into a culture where you've got to make a living. Are you married? No. Or then you get married, you have kids, and now you're trapped. You've got to support the kids. You can't afford to think socially, get out and protest. Oh, I'm already and, there. So you go, it reverts back. The system will revert back if I can't get enough people. If, if PJ doesn't get enough people, it'll revert back. I have no power. Now, you say, well, why should your conditioning be the right one? Because it wipes out the slums, does away with war, invites all the nations to participate, and there are no hungry, poor people, and we diminish most crimes. If you don't like that, tell me. Say, well, how would you stop this? How would you stop? You really question the hell out of me. I want you to do that, because that's the way I learn. See, I learn. Our system is not afraid of criticism. I know you don't even know there was a motion picture called The March of Time. Did you ever hear of it? No. All right, it was about 50 years ago, the last time I've seen it. And they sent a bunch of people to Russia to see what the communists were doing. When they got to Russia, they said, uh, we don't believe in communism. We think the free enterprise system will generate more incentive and communism, collectivism. But we wish you the best of luck on your new unusual social experiment. I love that attitude. Now, though, what the hell are you afraid of? If communism is so inefficient, it'll fall, right. let it fall. What are you building on them against it for? Because there's a bunch of things they don't want to happen. If, if Castro style, succeeds, it it'll spread through Latin America if Castro succeeded. So we formed a blockade so Castro couldn't succeed. But he sent doctors all over the world, free of charge. Are you aware of that? Mm -hmm. To help the undeveloped countries. Che Guevara is a nice guy, but he doesn't know what to do. Castro doesn't know what to do. So I went to Cuba years ago, and I said, I've come to help. They said, why do you want to help? You're an American. I said, no, I'm not. I'm a citizen of the world. I'll help any country. So they said, well, how can you help? We don't have money, Mr. Fresco. You know, <laughs> that's the way they spoke. So they said, I said, I want to see Fidel Castro. They said, he's cutting the sugar cane with the other workers. He's a nice guy. He's out there working in the field. So I said, I must see Fidel. He's 99 miles away. I can't see him. So I went to the University of Havana. I said, I've come here to help you. He said, Senor Fresco, we don't have the money America had to help. I said, Russia is giving you a million dollars a day. You don't know what to do with it. All you do is jack up a car and put a belt on the rear wheel and you can process sugar cane. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you? Um, you take the power less. off the rear wheel of a car to run, run a unit that will crush and squeeze okay. sugar cane. You see the men carrying the bananas down the hill? Build a clothesline, hang the bananas on, and the boxes will go up while the bananas come down. You can free these guys. So I showed them how to use technology that they have to upgrade it fast. They said, oh, you have to see Fidel. <laughs> I said, I can't see him. You have to get to him. Anyway, I never get to see him, okay? We were invited to China a couple of years ago. They said, Jack, we want you to design new cities, uh, a theme park, everything. But before that, we were invited to Dubai. You know where I'm talking about? Where they built Palm Islands in the water? Dubai. Okay, uh, Arab Emirates. Very advanced. Ten years ago, they were desert Arabs. Today, the skyscrapers, desalinization plants, modern architecture. Uh, where do these people get here? Oh, all these people are normal, meaning fucked up, okay? <laughs> they come from a given culture, and I mean that. So I've got to talk to them again. Do you want to turn this off? Because we're going to...
We're gonna set up a camera.